WFSB.com. Good for them. Mm -hmm. Now, in medical rounds, blood on board, Hartford Hospital's LifeStar helicopter is the first in Connecticut to carry blood products to treat critically ill patients in the sky while en route to the hospital. And here now to explain is Nick Mancini. He is a flight nurse and paramedic aboard LifeStar, and he's joining us live tonight from Hartford Hospital. Nick, nice to have you with us tonight. So happy to be here. Well, we know on June 29th of this year, you and the other LifeStar crew members made history by performing the first blood transfusion in the air. So tell us, how were you able to treat the patient? How did it all work out? Uh, sure. So uh, that day I was aboard uh, LifeStar 1. Uh, we were called uh, to assist a patient that had experienced uh, severe trauma with uh, severe bleeding. Uh, my partner and I quickly identified uh, the situation and uh, realized the patient uh, required uh, blood. So we moved quickly, loaded the patient into the aircraft, and knowing we had a less than 10 minute flight uh, to Hartford Hospital, we were able to administer both units of blood uh, to the patient uh, on the arrival to the ED here. Um, once we arrived here at the ED, we did, uh, our surgeons here were very uh, impressed on our ability to be able to give that treatment to the patient and uh, stated that uh, that was uh, the part of the piece that increased uh, the chance of survivability to her. That's wonderful. Tell us though, how is the blood stored on the aircraft? How do you, you manage it? Uh, sure, so the, the blood, there's two units of uh, blood and it's uh, in a cooler in the aircraft um, and it can stay in there for a total of 16 hours, but uh, we uh, switch it out every 12 hours if uh, we're not out on flights uh, to maintain its integrity. And where did this idea come about to actually carry blood on board? Uh, well, the idea, it's, it's, been, it's been in the works. Uh, it started in 2014, uh, headed by our medical director, Dr. Lori Bolton, and one of our flight nurses and paramedics. Um, in collaboration with many departments here in Hartford Healthcare, including our trauma services, our transfusion services here at Hartford Hospital and Bacchus Hospital. And uh, they were able to uh, collaborate together and bring this therapy out to the community. Well, it's a wonderful thing. Great information tonight. We thank you so much, Nick Mancini, flight nurse and paramedic of LifeStar. And you know what I think of all of you there. So keep up the great work. If you have a question for Nick and about LifeStar, he is available live on our web chat. Just go to WFSB.com. They're doing some great things. They sure, sure are. Well, eyelash extensions can help volumize your lashes. I do this often. <laughs> no, I don't. But could also pose some health risks. It's a simple process. Technicians simply glue fibers to your natural lashes, but experts are warning that some adhesives contain formaldehyde, which can then cause allergic reactions. Bacteria can also grow in those synthetic lashes, leading to an eye infection. All bad here, folks. We'll be right back.